Vathna in Cambodia. Boy, that's great how people write to me from all over the world. I, I love it. Thank you. He says, I have a concern about subwoofer location not being behind my main loudspeakers. According to your previous videos about subwoofer locations, I found the right soft bass location in my room is at the right corner of the rear of my listening position, so basically behind him. Um, I am not really sure this will impact the sound imaging stage or not. Thanks for your attention, and I look forward to seeing your video soon. Okay, so, you know, I'll tell you what I, I love about Vatna's. He's got the cajones to go out and do it because it works, right? Um, I, I'm always impressed by that. There are so many people that are, you know, you hear so much, you got to do it this way, you got to do it that way. And my advice has always been, do it the way that sounds best. Don't worry that it isn't correct, or don't worry that it isn't the way we do things around here, okay? That's really important. And we want to place something where it works. Some of the best subwoofer positioning I have ever heard is to the side of me as a listener, behind me as a listener. And what he's referring to is in my books, the Audiophiles Guide, which is the stereo and now the new one, the speaker. We talk a lot about subwoofer placement and how to get there. And, and one of the old tricks, and I, I know regular listeners of this have heard me say this before, and this is probably what he's referring to, that in the listening position, in any standard room, you're going to have dips and nulls uh, and peaks and valleys and all of that of bass because we have these standing waves created by the low notes. So where you're sitting, if this is my seating position, may not and probably will not be best to get smooth, flat bass. Just won't be. So when you take a subwoofer, how do you know where to put it? Well, you can do it by constant trial and error, sitting in your seat, putting it over there, trying it, nope, moving it, nope, putting it back here, nope. Or you can put the subwoofer on your seat play the music, and then you can walk around the room and find the flattest point that that subwoofer works, then reverse everything, put the subwoofer back in that place, and then when you're seated, you're in heaven, okay? And that's what he did. But he found in his room, it worked best behind him. That's okay. That's perfectly okay. Good on you for having been brave enough to just say, you know what? This worked. I'm a little nervous about it. That's okay. I get it, but thank you. Thank you for doing that. Thank you for your courage uh, to, to do what works. It doesn't have to be, well, that's just the way you do it. Throw that out. Question everything. This whole studio, Octave Records, everything here, is a result of a passion for saying, I'm going to question everything. Why do you need a multi-billion dollar studio to get the best sound in the world? You don't. We can do it. This is not nothing in terms of an investment, but it ain't Capitol Records. It's not, you know, whatever. So we're here at PS Audio. We're here at Octave Records because we said at what point I don't have to pay attention to that. I don't have to follow the rules that say, unless you do this, this, and this, you won't get here. Bullshit. No. Uh-uh. I don't buy it. And he doesn't buy it, and you shouldn't either. Question everything. Try it. See how it works. And that's how you're going to make progress. Okay. Sorry for the little slip of the tongue. I know a lot of people like, he just said bullshit. Well, sorry. <laughs> That's just me. All right. Talk to you later. Cheers. Mm -hmm.